What is up my fellow gamers in today's video we got our best build for the archer class my favorite class and what I personally think is by far the best one in this and that is going to be specifically the shadow hunter for our passive skills we got combo damage attack speed ignore evasion which is really important crit damage bonus our basic attacks have a chance to deal extra damage to one percent of the target's current Ooh. hp which means we are amazing at taking down bosses that have high health pools and finally the last one after we got a crit hit we boost our attack by 40 percent for one second first thing i want to talk about is the gear because i feel like a lot of people think that our specific gear right here that we get from the lamp is just kind of based on rarity, right? You just take whatever the highest rarity gear you get and you always do that. But there's a little bit more into it than that. Each piece of gear has your main basic stats, which are HP, attack, and defense. But then they also have substats, and the substats can be different depending on what piece of gear it is, regardless of rarity. We could get a Supreme that could be the same thing, it could be this mask, but it could have different substats. This specific one, we got combo and counter strike. Now, what I personally recommend for this archer build, stun is amazing for the archer class because if you take a look, you're going to stun on your basic attack. Now, for this specific shadow hunter build we're going with, we're doing lots of basic attacks. So the fact that our stun percentage isn't necessarily going to be super high, I think I have mine at like a 7.9%, it's close to 8%. But if we do lots of basic attacks constantly, you're bound to go ahead and trigger those stun effects from this. So this is an amazing substat to have for the Archer class. So really look out for that. Now, obviously you do wanna take the highest rarity, but when you do get to the point where your lamp is leveled up pretty high and you pretty much have all of the Supremes or you have all of the uh, gold ones, which is like the highest rarities, and then you're just farming the same highest rarity gear over and over that's when you can be a little bit more picky but early on as like a new player or wherever you may be just trying to get the highest rarity is typically the best the other one that's also important is going to be crit rate so this one right here is amazing we got two percent for our stun and we also got five percent for our crit rate some of the recommended skills for the shadow hunter build first one's going to be speed surge now this one is an event one so if you don't have this don't worry but i just wanted to do an honorable mention for this one i got super lucky and i pulled this one from an event it's going to increase our crit rate by a percentage and then for every one percent crit rate we gain an additional crit damage so this is an absolutely insane one for the archer class aside from that though one that's more traditional this is a higher rarity this is immortal it's going to be the clone strike we go ahead and we create a clone of ourselves and it just deals a bunch of damage next one we got is wild gust this is a legendary we're going to deal aoe damage but we're going to increase our attack by a percentage next one is smoke bomb we go ahead we deal aoe damage but we're increasing the damage received by the targets next one is slime bomb we deal aoe damage but we're increasing our pals damage then we got coin bomb more aoe damage but we're increasing our basic attack damage by a percent for our pals we have the treasure dragon this is an immortal rarity it's going to increase our basic attack crit damage and our skill crit rate next one we got is the tipsy snail reduces the enemy movement speed by 40 percent next one we got is the hero bird it's going to increase our attack speed by 15 percent then we got the chicken hood basic attack damage is increased by 30 and finally the cowboy cactus every three basic attacks we're going to deal an extra 40 percent and one honorable mention is the alpine fox it's going to extend our stun duration by a percentage and we're going to deal extra damage to stunned enemies this is specifically for our stun effect on our basic attack now before we get into our relics and our shroom statues we got to give a shout out to our sponsor aptoid they're having a special event on april 26th where you can get additional cash back in all of your purchases in Legend of Mushroom. Check this out. Aptoid is an Android app store that offers many benefits. The first one being cash back on your in-app purchases in all of your favorite mobile games, specifically Legend of Mushroom. You can get up to 20% cash back with your purchases. And if you go ahead and use my special promo code, you can get another 5% on top of that 
for a complete total of 25% cash back on all of your purchases. If you've never heard of Aptoid before or you don't know how to set up your AppCoins wallet, down below in the description box, I have a dedicated video where I walk you step by step on how to download Aptoid, set up your AppCoins wallet, and also enter my promo code to get that additional 5% back. So check out that video, link down below in the description box. As far as our relics go, this can be a little bit tricky depending on the PALs you are using, because some of these are very specific to certain types of PALs. Uh, and if you don't have that specific PAL, then you really don't get any advantage. So for the first relic we have is the Bonded Mass. This one's pretty simple. It just increases our crit rate by 10%. Next one we have is the Gilded Eggshell. Chicken PALs are gonna throw eggs. So we do have that Chicken Hood PAL. Next one we got is the Blessed Dew. It's gonna increase our Cactus PALs combo rate. So we do have that Cactus. The next one's the Flame Book. This is probably far the best one. This is an absolute must for the shadow hunter build next one we got is going to be the crystal statue it's going to boost the effects of our queen bomb slime bomb and our meteorite fall we're only really using the first two and then with our final relic we got we're going with the storm necklace it's going to increase the damage of our summon unit from that clone strike that is it i hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video stay happy stay safe i'll see y'all later peace